Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're still looking uh, in today's video at my conversion of the Batman um, Thomas and Friends Renaissance model into something more approaching uh, Dolgok and we're looking at another tiny detail this time and we're still uh, looking at prototype photos in the Railway Adventure book. Um, today I'm looking at this. There's actually one on either side. You can just see the other one behind the kid's shoulder. Um, I think it's a lubricator. Um, <clears throat> I believe that's what it is anyway. Um, there is nothing in the detailing kit I have um, that I was partly involved with um, for modelling these. There's lots of these bits are in the modelling kit, in the detailing kit, but not the lubricators. Um, so you can see it's kind of like a essentially solid central section, a, bul a bulge in the middle, and two handles. Um, and I had a play around to try and see what I could come up with, which was a bit of a disaster, if I'm honest. Um, so you can see all these bits of bent brass wire. Um, some of them were more effective than others. Um, mostly I just kept breaking things, burning my fingers, gluing my fingers together, um, trying to make little bulges in wire and, and handles and things. Um, <clears throat> and in the end, I was almost about to give up when um, another modeler, um, George Williamson, um, put up a video of his um, build of, of Dolgok um, from the same Reneus model using the same detailing kit. Um, so I'll put a link to his um, video in the description. Um, so you can go have a look. He's done something slightly differently. He The, the model he bought was a second hand one where somebody had already started some of the back head detail and things. So there's, 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 there's different ways of working, but we can all learn from each other. It's good to see um different approaches to the same to the same problem and he decided that um given that they would be quite small on the final model you just needed something that looked right and we've talked about that on this channel before that it's about making things kind of look right sometimes rather than uh, being completely accurate um and he picked up on the fact that you could use a, a handrail knob so they're just essentially a ball with a hole through a handrail goes through um we've seen them on 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 the Talilin uh, model I did before. Um, so I had a hunt round and I did eventually find some medium handrail knob knobs in my stash. Um, you can see them here. These are these were bought from Eileen's Emporium before they unfortunately went bust. But you can see it's basically a pin on the bottom that goes into the model and then there's a shaft and a ball on the top with a hole through. Um, so um, I basically made some up, fitted them and they look like this. Um, now Yes, the handles on the top are ridiculously oversized. Um, I've left them long for now so that I have something to hold on to while I fit them, move them around. It makes them slightly less likely to get lost. Um, I will trim them once they're finally glued um, into position. But for now, I want to carry on being able to paint things and, and, and model things without the details on. So, um, yeah, I've left those, those handles long. But you can see um, they're not quite right for the prototype because in theory, if you remember the, the picture we looked at, the handles actually come out above and below uh, the bulge, whereas here, obviously, they're coming out either side of the bulge where the wire goes through. But I think for the purposes of representation, I think these are pretty good. Um, again, working out, trying to work out exactly where they fitted on the model on the top surface of the footplate. Looking at photos, they appear to be in line with the back of the buffer and roughly in line with the center of a um of the of the um the front buffer pin i've lost the words <sighs> anyway um yeah so that's what i did and i did it basically by drilling in rather than trying to mark the top surface i just put the drill in from the bottom um had it butt up against the back of the buffer beam um and then made sure i could see it through the hole um in the in the where the where the buffer will fit um drilled through um and then just opened out the the, the hole um with a with a with a just a, sta a standard reamer until it was just the right size to be a tight push fit for the handrail um and yeah i think they they work well um again it's one of these things where yeah there's not a huge amount of work involved there's not a huge amount of detail uh, i mean obviously it took me longer because i messed about trying to produce my own but again I think it's it's a tiny detail that will add to the to the finished model um, when I get that back far by just making it you know again different from Renate Reneas closer to what you think of when you see uh, when you see Dolgok so it's a short video today because that's that's all I have uh, family and, and work um, time constraints uh, mean that I haven't had 
uh, too much time this week. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully there'll be a bit more uh, in the next video next week. Thanks.